Welcome to Seven Trumpets Prepper. And guys, in this video today, we're gonna be doing another Crate Club review. Uh, guys, I apologize, I'm a little behind uh, on getting this one done this month. I had uh, freaking blood pressure problems for like two weeks straight, and I've never had to take like medication that I know of really, uh, hardly at all, anything in my entire life, like antibiotics, maybe some few other things if I've been sick or something. But man, it has just been unreal, but I finally got that under control feel like a human being again and want to do some uh, gear reviews now for the month. Uh, just a little behind. But let me uh, cut this one open right here. Alright, so for the month, we'll get the card up here. For the month, we've got quite a few awesome goodies in here. Just a quick overview. Ooh, that zipped range target kit looks amazing. So we get, hey, they got a Milwaukee drill moving and them folks know what's up. Shout out to Milwaukee Tools. All right, so let's get this out here. Lay this all out. Zip range, that is really cool. I already have a shooting range, so we can set that up in that. Thanks, lots and lots of goodness. All right, make sure everything's out of the box. All right, so the first thing we got cooking on this is a Tactica 100 multi-tool, which is right here. I'll show this, it looks like a carabiner. And see right there, it's got following features on it right there. While I'm pulling this out. All right. Oh, that's nice. That is nice. And let's see, does it got the screwdriver bit, find where the bit is. Okay, yeah, the bit's down in there, guys. That's very cool. You can put that on your D-ring clip. Also use it, torque things down with. It's pretty cool, let me show you here on my keys. I've got one of those tactical clip things but now it won't fit down on that one so if you're going to do it it's going to have to be one of the wide d bodies um to do that on one of them that's pretty cool right there Get that over the side for a minute all right next up we've got the gear tie reusable twist ties here is those guys you use that on your gear it even you had to probably down a rifle on the back of your pack, but I don't, I wouldn't, wouldn't go too wild. Uh, next up, we got the Humvee folding shovel. Everybody's got to take a poo in the woods. Here's the deal to get it done, or if you're in the middle of a war zone, having to dig out some trench work. <clears throat> Let's see if this one. Gives that one torqued down. Pretty good. I like that. Reinforced. My handle is pretty heavy duty polymer. It's pretty nice. All right. Next up, we've got the Zero Tolerance C350, one of the for our first ZTs, and still one of the most popular. The O350's big aggressive hand handful of knife. It says here the blade overall length on this one's three and quarter inch. Make sure I got the right knife. Right there, made in the good old US of A. Well, the people's good. I don't think the politicians are much good anymore. That's a story for another day. Oh boy little dude right there slim too there you go it's pretty nice pretty nice it says here Ken onion design made in the USA oh that's got a good spring feel to it right there it's like the sweet spot 
I mean, that thing requires like nothing to open. It's nice. All right, moving to our next item of goodness is Rescue Essentials Battle Bandage. Right here, got some compression wrap. This is an eight by eight gauze pad in the box. And then next we have Mountain Bonded Alpha Fix Blade. This is a three inch blade. This one's a shorty. Let's see how short you are. Tell you what, you have some good packaging on stuff nowadays. Great club, never disappointing on good blades. So there you go. Pop the sheath. Oh yeah, coyote tan. Very nice. Very nice piece. All right, and next up we have zero tolerance knife storage bag. Enough space for up to 18 folders, well padded, deep pockets, and designed for a snug fit so your knife stays securely in place. Here is, here's the knife pouch. Zero tolerance knives pouch. There you go, guys. Divider in between. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Just like it says. And next we've got Dan's Honing Oil, recommended to be used when you're sharpening stone and after sharpening for metal shavings to be sharpened off your blade. Honing Oil, right here. I think my dad used that years ago too. Whenever he was sharpening knives, that's what my dad would always use. And lastly, we have Zip Range Kit, which is a quick setup, breakdown, mobile range for your backyard. Um, let's see here. Yeah, you can attach a drill to a pulley on the end to drive it back and forth across there too. I'll show you how that looks, guys. That's really cool. Really cool. That's where that little house looks like an Incredible Box from Incredible Tiny Homes too. <laughs> if anybody knows about me with Tiny Homes, check that out. That literally looks like an Incredible Box back there in the background. That's funny. Um, all right, so here's the kit right there. There's all the goodness with it. Got your targets, your clamp piece. That's very cool. That's, that's really cool. Scan product for the video on how to do it. Let me get that up close so you guys can get the QR code off that. Guys, that's a, it's quite a mixture box this month. Got survival gear, target shooting, two knives, and a shovel. Not, not a bad get up. Um, guys, if you haven't checked out Crate Club, make sure to check them out. Links in the video description below where you can go get this. Um, guys, I know sometimes you may get stuff you like in the subscription box. Sometimes you may not. Uh, one thing about it, it's all definitely usable one day. And those days may be fast approaching quicker than we think. Um, so guys, as always, till we see you again here at Seven Trumps Forever Channel, hope most high y'all Baruch you and keep you, make his face shine upon you, show you favor, and give you shalom, my friends. In Yahushua name.